Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. I just heard a podcast interview with a couple successful dudes talking about professional women, and I wanted to address a couple things real quick. It seems to me that the internet is full of a bunch of masculinity gurus, the Andrew Tates, these, um, these guys that are really preaching pretty decent things to a degree. All right. I am all about being better than you were yesterday, being the best version of yourself possible, going to the gym, eating right. All of these things are important for a healthy lifestyle and being a better dude and being successful in life and just living the, your best life. I'm all about that. But some of this other stuff that's been being talked about out here in the internet is complete and utter hog manure, okay? What they were talking about was professional women and how they are not good wife material. And I know there's a lot of different opinions out there. Obviously, I have my own opinion. You have your own opinion. It's all good. Everybody's entitled to those things, okay? Just get that straight. But let me tell you something. I've got personal experience with this kind of thing because my wife is a professional. I am a professional. My wife and I are both eye doctors. That's what we do for a living. And we own our practice. We own multiple businesses. We have different business ventures. We do all kinds of things in our life. But our main gig is healthcare. And we work together. That's how we met. We met in professional school. And... I want to dispel some of these, this garbage that's being thrown out there that professional women aren't, don't make good wives. So here we go. Number one, professional women typically are fairly intelligent. Okay. I went through my, my young phase, liked beautiful women, all of these things, went to the clubs, went, did all of that stuff. You know, when I was in my 20s and early, and late, late teens, you get attracted to, to the beautiful women. And for, to be honest with you, if someone couldn't hold a conversation with me, I didn't care what they looked like. Okay. They could have been Giselle or these, the, the hottest women on the planet. If they were an idiot, that's just not attractive to me. All right. That's just not attractive to me. I like a woman that has her own thoughts. She can form her own sentences. Okay. Not that I'm saying that all beautiful women are ditzy. I'm not saying that at all, but intelligence is sexy. It is, it is a sexy thing. Now what's not sexy is bitterness and looking down on somebody. Okay. That's an arrogance. You know, arrogance goes both ways, women and men, right? So let's just dispel that real quick. Um, beautiful women are everywhere. What makes somebody wife material, in my opinion, it's not just the looks. It's not just the, the, the sexual attraction. The polarity has to be there. Okay. And intelligence is, oof, it's, it's sexy. It is a very sexy thing. So let's just say that real quick. Number two, all professional women are bitches. Okay. That's a myth. Total myth. There are a lot of women out there that are professionals that have the ability to turn that off when they're with their spouse. I see it in my day-to-day -day life. Most of our friend circle are professionals. You're talking doctors, lawyers, professionals. Okay. I see it on my, on a daily basis that professional women make great spouses. Okay. Okay, fellas, they do. There's a reason I married my wife. Okay. Is she a boss babe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is because we run our own practices, right? We do it together. We make a great team. Okay. I'm really good at decision making. She's really good at the menial office work. Okay. The stuff that drives me crazy. I love to manage people, I like to have fun and create a great work environment. She does too. 
But the biggest thing is that we mesh together. Our our specialties and our our skills work well together. Okay, that is that's not rare. <laughs> okay, that's not rare. If you've got a professional woman, she's had to bust her ass to get there, y'all. Some of them are going to be bitter about that. Most are not. I, I frankly didn't see it a whole lot in my profession. Maybe my profession's a little bit different, but hey, you know, my wife is a great spouse. She's very feminine. You know, yes, she could be masculine at work, but that's where we have to be, okay? A lot of people ask us how we do it, how we work together and all these things. It's really not that difficult, all right? Because we work as a team, just like we do at home. All right. Number three, when it comes to professional women and being a spouse. All right. That's how we met. Okay. When you're going through school, you are going to be surrounded, especially when it comes to professional. All right. Now you're talking to undergrad. Of course, that's going to be kind of a mating game a little bit. Um, but when it comes to professional school and being single, I used to be a tour guide at the school that we went to uh, for the people that were potential uh, uh, potential docs. Okay, I was the one that gave the tours of the schools um, to show them around, and I loved it. And the joke that I'd always tell, I'd always say, was at the time the student body ratio was fifty uh, fifty, female and male. And the joke that I said is that if you come to school single you're probably going to leave married, <laughs> okay? Because it was just a melting pot of, of, of people. And I personally saw many of my classmates hook up and they're still married to this day, 20 years later, okay? Most of them, I, maybe a couple of them got divorced. I think maybe one or two couples that I know of out of about 30 uh, got divorced. So that's not a very high divorce rate, y'all. Okay, things are going to happen in marriage in some cases. I'm not, I'm no zealot. A hundred percent of marriages are not going to stay together. Okay, that's you're gonna, things are going to happen, and some marriages are going to fail. So that's how you meet. So if you're a professional woman or you want to be a professional woman, you are going to be around professional dudes as you go through school. Okay, you talk about a great meeting environment because especially in professional school, you will eat, sleep, and drink school for four years after after undergrad, all right? So you're going to spend time with, with some pretty high-quality dudes, all right? Um, that'll be a nice little incentive for some of you that are thinking about being a healthcare professional or just a professional, period. You're going to be around really, really high-quality guys, all right? Marriageable guys. So there you go. Okay. Now, does that apply to women? Yeah, it does. Because those are high quality women that I saw in professional school. Not to mention attractive. You do you. Um, but my wife is a boss babe. And she, she, she tickles my fancy. <laughs> that's, that's all I got to say about that. Okay. So let's just put this to bed. Okay, you can be a professional woman and still be a wife. Okay, you can still be feminine. Absolutely. Now, does that apply to everyone? No, absolutely not. It, the world is not in absolutes. Okay, there is not a black and white of this kind of thing. There is going to be a gray area, and that's what you're looking for. Okay, some of this stuff out there online, be careful of, of, of what you're what you're putting into you, okay, into your head. I mean, I know there's all kinds of podcasts and all kinds of interviews and different type of people out there, but that one really, I was like, this is really crappy advice, okay? So not all professional women will be good wife material, for sure, but stick around, and I'll tell you what is good wife material. I already did. I did an episode right here if you want to check it out, okay? So if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. You could really use your help. This channel's fairly new. And I'm trying to get the word out. I'm going to be here for a very long time. Okay. Until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.